Hello, my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Butter, and we're working on extending her go to bed. Now, when we're working with dogs, there are elements that we start adding to their commands just to make them more resilient to outside intervention. Those three elements that we add are distance, duration, and distraction. Today, we're gonna be focusing on duration, so how long Butter can stay on the mat before she starts breaking. And to do that, we're gonna go ahead, you can see she's already in the go to bed position, and we're gonna start counting in sections so we can see where Butter is breaking and keep working on that number. Now I'm going to go ahead and treat her and ask her to stay with a flat palm. Stay. And now I'm going to start counting. So for filming purposes, I'm going to start with the number three, but ideally you'd start all the way back at the number one. One, two, three. Yes. Stay. One, two, three, four. Yes. Stay. One, two, three, four, five, yes. Stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. And you can see by counting in these segments, we're able to tell exactly where Butter's having trouble and go back to that number versus if we had just started counting. Butter, stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes. And today's goal is that we want to make it to 10. Stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Good girl. Almost there. Stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, good girl. Now I'm going to tap on the head to release, okay? And that was an excellent job from Butter. You can see she stayed down the entire time we worked and we made it to our goal to ten. The next step would be to establish a baseline with Butter, such as ten seconds with a limit of two treats or even fifteen seconds. But for today, really nice job for Butter. She did awesome. Good job! Good job, Butter. Oh, you're such a good girl. Good girl.